Here we have a PS5 game console that came in for repair and the console came in for an HDMI connector replacement. It has become a trend. Anytime we get a console in for an HDMI connector replacement, you can be 100% sure that that console was tampered with before. Almost every console that we get in, whether it's a Nintendo Switch, Xbox, PlayStation, they tamper with it, repair attempt, Hiroshima, and then they send it to us. The owner of the console would attempt the repair because he saw a YouTube video. You can watch and learn and practice, but not on a console that you want to use, on electronics that you want to use. You practice on junk. It's going to take a lot of time to practice. You do not just watch one, two, three, ten videos and you become an expert. It's going to take a lot of practice, a lot of hours under the microscope, a lot of hours using a soldering iron, hot air station. You need to know your hot air station, airspeed, temperature, how far your hand should be from the board, what solder to use, how to run wires. Micro soldering is not something that you can learn in one day. We have a workshop coming up and I'm going to teach the students everything that I know from A to Z. And then it's up to them how much they want to practice at home. If you want to sign up for the workshop, send us an email. Dolly will reach out and will let you know when the next workshop will be. We cannot do workshops every day, but maybe I'll try to pass a workshop every couple of months. A lot of people are asking for an online training. I'm working on it, but for now, it's going to be in the shop here. Right now, the first thing I want to do is clean the holes on the sides. One, two, three, four. We're going to be using the NF.Sucker. The Northridge Fix Sucker. If you are in the same type of business or you are doing this as a hobby, you can buy all your tools from our site, including everything that we're going to be using for this repair. Right now, what I'm going to do is heat up the pads and then we're going to suck solder off the hose. To buy the tools, you can log in to northfishfix.com, click on shop, add to cart. Everything from this amazing microscope, soldering station, hot air station, genuine Amtec flux, braid wig, tweezers, thermal cameras, everything. Add to cart, check out, pay, and we almost always ship out same day. For all of you who have ordered from us before, you know how fast we ship. You can leave it down in the comments. Two, three, and one more. Four, we're done. That's how good this NF sucker is. Now we need to run two wires. The third one, we have half a pad here, but that's okay. The HDMI pins will reach. You see what happens when we do not have enough flux? Because people always ask, what is flux? What is it used for? Why do you always apply it? What's that gooey stuff? It's flux. Flux is magic. You cannot solder without flux. And you'll see why. Look at what happened when I applied flux. We need to turn on the anti-glare light. All the bridges are gone. Let me use the anti-glare light. And you can also purchase the anti-glare light off our side, the Northridge Fix anti-glare light. We get rid of reflections. Amazing. We have a missing capacitor as well.
So we use the Northridge Fix UV mask and the Northridge Fix UV light. Like I mentioned, everything that we are using for this repair, you can buy directly off our site. We use it on our bench. We only sell what we use and we do not just sell for the sake of selling. We sell so you can benefit. This is high quality UV mask and the UV light will cure the mask in a few seconds. I applied hot air to help out with the curing. I did a whole video about how to use the UV light because some people do not know how to use it. When you apply hot air, you have quality UV mask and then you have the UV light. You can cure the mask in a few seconds. Let's grab and replace the missing cap. And the cap goes right here. Now we're gonna drive now we're gonna pick up a PS5 HDMI connector. And I have this box here that we also carry and sell on our site. It contains HDMI connectors for PS5, PS5 USB 3 connectors, uh, PS4 Pro Slim, PS4 HDMI. We have Xbox One S, Xbox One X, Xbox Series X. We also have a generic HDMI connectors. I use those for TVs. Receivers, we have Nintendo Switch USB-C connectors and Nintendo Switch OLED USB-C connectors. The box looks something like this. Everything is inside one box. We do have Xbox Series S HDMI connectors, not inside this box. If you want them, you can purchase them as a separate item. We only have how many compartments here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If we had more compartments, I would have included series s connectors but no big deal so i put the hgmi connector on the board through the holes and now we're gonna reflow what do you mean by reflow reflow means if you noticed i pre-applied solder onto the pads right now we're gonna apply hot air until solder liquefies on those pads and I'm gonna push down on the HDMI connector and all those pins will make a nice flush connection with the pads on the board. I shared this technique a while back, maybe like two years ago, I forgot. But that's how I do it. I've also done videos where we went over the pins one by one. So apply hot air. I do not know if I applied flux, but we need flux, most definitely.
All right, we're almost there. And we did an amazing job. All right, let's check the pins, pin by pin. We're gonna start from the far right. Solid, 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 solid. And we're gonna say solid 19 times because we have 19 solid pins. We wanna double check on those pins that are soldered onto the wires to make sure that the wire is making a connection with the pin because right now the pin may move, but we wanna make sure the wire is moving along with the pin. But let me check on the last two. This one is good and this one is good. Let me zoom in so we can check on those pins with the wires. This pin is not making a connection with the wire, which is fine, because we'll fix it right now. And the other one, the other one is making a connection with the wire. So we only missed one, right? I do not see that wire move with the pin. So while at it, why not touch up on all the pins? So that way you can see how it's done both ways, how to reflow and how to touch up or how to solder the connector pin by pin. Even though we do not have to, because let me show you again, one more time. You can tell how the pins are making a solid connection with the pads. I'm zoomed in a lot and each pin is very solid. Okay, but let me do it so you can see how it's done both ways. Reflow and pin by pin. Let's clean up. We still have to solder the back. If you do not solder the back and you plug in the HDMI cable, that connector is gonna come right off and it's gonna rip every single pad on the board. All right, so we did an amazing job. And we saved that PS5 for the customer. Let's flip the board. And you can see how solder made its way up, all the way up. I just wanna check on the pins one more time quick before I give it to Big Boss to reassemble and test because I would not want Big Boss to assemble this and then tell me there's a problem and then take out the board again and I have to go over it again. So I always double check. And as you can see, all the pins are solid, really solid. And that's the pad that had half a pad, very solid. Now we're gonna test this one here and 
you can tell how the pin is moving along with the wire. That's very good. And this one here, you can tell how the pin is moving along with the wire. This one is solid and this one is solid. Perfect. All right, so I'm gonna hand the board over to Big Boss to reassemble and test and I'll be back to finish the video. Let's check on Big Boss. So we soldered the connector right here. Yes, perfect. PS5 is working. We did an awesome job. Thank you, big boss, the boss of all bosses. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll do something else in the next video.